Before I do my first brackets and Emmet demonstration, let's do a little file organization. Now, if you recall that in my documents, I created a folder called WebD168 and a, under that a folder called textbook. So WebD168 had a folder called textbook, which had a folder called exercises. And then I dropped the files from chapter four and chapter 13 in there. But I'm gonna be doing other exercises in other weeks. So I need to organize this a little bit more first. So let's do that before getting started. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a new folder and this is exercises in week one. So I'm gonna say week one. And then I'm going to move all these files into week one, okay? And go to week one. So now that's where my files are. And that's where we're going to be doing this week's practice. So now I am going to minimize that and go into brackets. Now, when you start brackets, you get some default files and it'll have like uh, this information and whatnot, but we don't want this because we don't. That's not our exercise. So what we're going to do is close all those and go to where it says file and you want to say open folder. And then you're going to navigate to wherever on your file system your files are. So in my case, I know it's under Documents, WebD168, Textbook, Exercises, and this is Week 1. So that's the folder I want to open. And when you see I opened it, the file navigation bar to the left shows little picture icons next to the PNG files and the angle brackets next to the index.html. But before we do this, let's look what, what that file did. So when I click on, oh I, wait, I did that example already. Okay. Never mind. Let's go back to brackets. Okay, so we know what this file does. And I got a little distracted here. I want to show you what Emmet does. Let's create a brand new file. And let's, right now, Brackets doesn't know what kind of file it is. So first thing we have to do is save it. I want to save it as an HTML file. Let's do a hello world. Okay, so let's save and let's call it hello world. Hello, hello dot, hello world dot HTML. Okay, classic first file, first web page. And you can see that I do now have this folder, I mean this file, there's nothing in it. So let's see, how do I use Emmet? I'm gonna use some, the magic of code completion. There's a whole bunch of aliases that you can find out in that cheat sheet that I showed earlier, but HTML colon five and tab and voila. It sets me up with a framework of a web page and it's all up to date. In fact, it's newer than what's printed in the book because the specifications change for the land, for HTML and for CSS. It changes faster than publishers can and authors can put out books. And so some, so books get out of date really quick, but with Emmet, it goes directly to an authoritative source, W3C, and it pulls out the spec and it puts in the framework. So it has language equals EN. 
Now, if you if you didn't have that, if you were type coding in by hand and you forgot that, it's not going to kill your web page. But when you run a validator, it will complain. So, so on the body, I can go hello world. So just put in my paragraph, and it does code completion. I hit a tab there. Uh oh, it's red because I. I did the I did a bad thing. I think I should have done just a P tab. So there's So if you see red in brackets, it means you did something wrong and so you better pay attention. And hello world. Okay, so if I do this live preview, it will create an instance of a, of your default browser and what the web page looks like. In my case, I think it is the Chrome browser. Yes. So that's what I get. A very simple hello world. And then, oh yes, I should probably change, change the title. Add a title to it. So I can go here and say, instead of document, I want it to be uh, hello or first web page or whatever. So you, you want to have a title in there. Okay, and if you go back, oops. Oh, I had it maximized so that it actually started a second one. You can see now it did it on the fly. You can see that now the title is hello. Okay, let me minimize or not minimize, just make it smaller. I'm making hello world smaller. Okay, so you see the dot here next to hello world? It means I haven't saved my change. If I don't save my change, then when I exit brackets, it will go away. So here's what live preview will do for you. Let's say I didn't want to call this hello. What if I wanted to call it first, the title, so first. And then you can see as I typed in first, without me saving it, it shows me that now my title bar for this web page is first. So that live preview is not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. But it's not exactly the same as looking at it in the browser. So let's, if you want to exit the live preview, just click See when it's it's yellow right now when it's active. If I want to disconnect this instance of a web page from brackets, just click and so then it will go from yellow to gray. And at that point you can close that window and you can save. So a control S or go to file save. I'm gonna do control S. And there you go. So Emmet has lots of other options. If you go to, I, I showed you the cheat sheet earlier, but if you want full documentation, you can look at docs.emmet.io or you go on your web browser and search. Go to a search engine and look for Emmet demos and tutorials and, and you'll find them. There's plenty out there because all, all these people are using Emmet. It's, it's very helpful and beats the heck out of doing it in Notepad <laughs> like they did in the old days. Okay, so now you've had a little taste of navigating in brackets and playing around with Emmet. So if I do an Emmet shortcut, I will usually tell you in the demonstration, but I do rely on them a lot because otherwise 
me just typing that, that would have taken a really long time. So, okay, come to the next video then. And we will, we will do the uh, responsive web page.